Hi designers, I'm Retro and in this series I'm going to be talking about type design. First of all, type design is an artistic field that does require a creative mind, so I would say that it is a relaxing and creative type of environment, but also it requires problem solving skills. Since sometimes, instead of feeling like you are being creative, it feels more like you are trying to fit the pieces of a puzzle. Type design is not about making every glyph unique or make it stand out on its own, but more about harmony and making sure they work with one another. And that is why you will find yourself putting more effort into parts of the glyphs that repeat themselves throughout the font. One downfall about creating a font is that all the forms of the glyphs are already established, and sometimes you will find yourself constricted by this fact. So you will feel less like creating new shapes but more like refining them. But that is what makes a font a font, the small alterations in their design that in the end come together and give them a different voice, a different tone, that associates with the feeling, a vibe. That's why it's better to have an idea about the context in which you want to use your font before starting. Another important factor in creating fonts are optical illusions. Even though it's a basic step in creating a font, you will find yourself working on them as much as you are on the shapes that make up your font. That's because it is one of the most important steps, and it's what separates a professional font from a beginner's font. So I strongly recommend that you take all the parts of the clips step by step and get used to them. And lastly, don't be scared of mistakes.